Hi guys, it's me, Matt, the Magman. Doing my, uh, my thing from home again, it's pretty cool. Um, so, last time we were talking about cubes, I would like to talk to you about rectangles, rectangular prisms, and cuboids. <laughs> so, I mean, what is, a, what is a cuboid or a rectangular prism? Well, we know, you'll see these around your house an awful lot. For example, I have a, a, a particular non-brand variety <laughs> packet of cereal. It's a rectangular prism. Uh, likewise, I have um, a little thing of apple juice, one of your five a day, very important. It's a rectangular prism or a cuboid. So, what is this? Now, again, just like last time, I've made myself a net. I've got a little net, you see, like that. So, what I'm going to do is follow it uh, with my mouth voice. So I'm using actually rectangles this time. These are pretty cool. If you don't have rectangles, of course, it's just the same as two squares together. But I'm building myself the little net. Like that. Now, um, just like the cube, we can pull it up. We've made a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. This is, of course, exactly the same as a, uh, a square prism. Now, a square prism, if you can imagine, it's the same idea, but we're doing, we're not using rectangles. We're doing with squares. So a square prism would be a cube, whereas a rectangular prism would be a cube. Boyd. Now, what the difference here is, is whereas our square uses every single side is a, oh sorry, our cube, every single side is a square, for our rectangular prism, only two sides are squares, the top and the bottom, and every other side is a rectangle. And of course, just like your cube, there are more than one net, lots of different ways of making this particular thing. Now what you could do if you really wanted to is to get some uh, paper in your house and you can cut out a net. Try and figure out how many different types of way there are to make a rectangular prism and you could stick this together with tape. or of course if you've got your mag formers you can do that as well. Now here's a thought. Have I got um Yes! So that would be a rectangular prism but what about if I use these? These are, if you count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sided shape, which would make it a hexagon. But if I laid out a cool shape like that, I always think this looks like a, some sort of an atom or something like that. That is the net of a hexagonal prism. Rectangular prism, because we're using the rectangles on the sides and squares. Hexagonal prism, because I'm using the hexagons oh, on the side. Like that. Hexagonal prism, square prism, rectangular prism. Marvellous. Prisms are dead cool. They're effectively boxes. Look at every single cereal box you've got in your house. You know, pretty much figure out that's what it is. So there we are, a brief insight into rectangular prisms. The humble cuboid, beautiful shape. And you try and have a go, see what you can come up with. And uh, good luck. As always, keep building, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys soon.